I'm back after a month of not uploading a video, which is quite appalling, but I was on holiday in Florida. I went to Disney. I did a couple of art drops actually, which was a lot of fun. I dropped some artwork in the parks. I don't know where they are now. I did leave like all my information on the back, but no one actually got back to me. So they could be in the dirt for all I know. I also have some very exciting videos coming up for you guys over the next few weeks. I upload every single Friday from now on, uh, just so you know that and I can't wait to share them with you. But today I thought I would do a nice sit down chatty video because I really enjoy doing these and I know you guys enjoy them as well. So I kind of wanted to give some advice and some tips based on being an artist, kind of 10 things they don't tell you about being an artist and 10 things you really need to know, tips and advice basically. First things first, sometimes you will spend hours and hours and hours on a piece of art and you'll be so proud of it. You'll feel like you've really done well and you kind of expect others to take it the same way as well. But often you will not receive the recognition that you think you will on your art pieces on social media. I say this mainly to artists that have just started out, to new artists that don't have too much of a following, because obviously if you're more of an established artist, you're gonna get more recognition for your work. But it's very, hurtful when you spend hours on something and you kind of don't receive the sort of likes and comments you thought you would but try not to take it to heart it doesn't mean anything to you as a person it's just people don't know about you yet but the thing is especially when you're first starting out as an artist you need to make art for yourself not for other people not for the likes if you're making it for other people you're not going to really be the artist you want to be one day you'll wake up and realize I'm not making the art that I want to make for about a good year on Instagram I had about 130 or less followers I didn't get on well with Instagram I did all the hashtags I read all the websites how to grow your Instagram it's taken me a good long time to grow somewhat of a following on there because obviously when you're growing from nothing it's very, very difficult. The best piece I feel that I ever made uh, was my Dean Winchester piece. It helped me through a very difficult time and that's why it's very, very special to me as well. And I'm so proud of it. I spent so long on it, but I got, I think maybe 20 to 30 likes on it within a few days. I didn't sort of get much from it. And that was okay because it was so special to me. So it's important to remember that you need to make art for yourself. I've been posting my art online since 2011. I started on DeviantArt, did not get on well with that at all. Absolutely not. And it's only in the past year that I feel that I'm finally getting kind of such an amazing, overwhelming response to my videos and my art from you guys. And I'm so, I'm so grateful for that. But my point is, it takes a long time. It does take a long time and you shouldn't get disheartened. Number two, not everyone is going to like your work or you. Unfortunately, this is just the way of the world. There's always going to be those people out there that just don't really like you or the work you make. I've had this a lot recently. Um, I, you know, I, I get it. I'm, I can be an annoying person, so I kind of get it. But, you know, the, it's the people that let you know, you know. It's kind of like, you know, dislike me, but in silence. So I don't know, you know, ignorance is bliss kind of thing. My point is, it's okay. There are always going to be people out there like that. Try really hard not to take it to heart. And I always kind of give the, give the example of, think of the person you think is the most likable, lovable person on the planet. Um, you know, Ellen is pretty loved by everyone. For me, I think, you know, maybe Tom Hanks, because I'm like, how could anybody not like Tom Hanks? Because he's just like a giant teddy bear you want to cuddle. There are people out there that don't like Tom Hanks and that I can't wrap my head around it. But, you know, it's either jealousy because he's, you know, he's got a lot of money, he's talented. Some people just generally just don't like his personality and that's okay, everyone has their own opinion. It doesn't make sense to me. But the point is there's always going to be that person out there that doesn't like you or your work. Just understand you can't please everyone and that's okay. Don't go out of your way to try to. You're fighting a never-ending battle. Number three, have confidence in your work. Uh, I was someone that for a very long period of time, especially in the beginning, had no confidence in my work. I was constantly comparing myself to other people. I was constantly wondering, why am I not as good as them? You know, it's something that's very easy to fall into the trap of. But if you don't have the confidence, that's okay. Fake it. You can fake confidence. Think of the most confident person you know and tr sort of try to pretend in a way that you're them. Pretend you kind of are holding on to some of their confidence and just fake it. Fake it till you make it, as they say. Another problem I had was I did have times where I surprised myself and I genuinely was pleased with my work, but I was afraid to kind of say that. I was afraid to say, I'm, you know, I'm actually proud of this because I didn't want to come off as being overly confident or full of myself, but 
you need to have somewhat confidence in yourself and your artwork because if you don't push yourself to have that confidence you're not going to push your art so do your best to keep that confidence within you even if it's not real number four don't use lack of money or your location as an excuse to not make art now a lot of people think that you need expensive art supplies to be any good at art, but art is the artist, not the tool. I personally, especially when I'm practicing or doing things for a hobby, use my cheap, trusty dollar acrylic paint. Did I say acrylic? Acrylic paint. You can use cheap school pencils to doodle. You don't need anything fancy when you're starting out. Obviously, as you progress more, you're gonna want better art supplies because it does help but they're not gonna help you if you have no experience under your belt and that's the most important thing. So just get practicing with whatever you can get your hands on. But unless you're making sellable art or art that's gonna be in a gallery, don't buy crazy expensive art supplies. There's no need for it. Just, just practice with what you have. Number five, accept constructive criticism, but don't accept insults. There is a clear line between both of those. Constructive criticism is something that can often feel like a criticism or an insult but it usually provides some sort of value to it that will help you to get better with your work. Usually constructive criticism will have some sort of message behind it, some sort of inspiration that you can use to improve your work at a later date. But it can feel like an insult, it can hurt when people leave comments because you think oh they don't like my work, they you know oh you, you're, you're stupid, you don't like that, you know some people kind of get really defensive from constructive criticism and that's okay. The thing is sometimes people don't want constructive criticism which is why you should never actually give it unless it's being asked for. Some people voluntarily will give you what they think is being helpful when actually the people they're giving it to don't have the confidence within them to kind of take that. Everyone is learning and you're going to discourage people if you're kind of insulting their work and they didn't sort of ask for help on how they could improve. So yes, remember, if you're giving constructive criticism to someone, make sure you know what you're talking about and make sure they've asked for it first. And for people that are receiving constructive criticism, try to really understand why they're saying what they're saying and make sure that it is helpful and not an insult. If it's an insult, you don't have to take that. Just block that person and move on. Because a lot of the time, people are just being jealous and mean for no reason at all. Number six, do not try to be like everybody else. As cliche as that sounds, um, if you're especially wanting to find your own style, it's important that you admire people and kind of copy their work, but don't plagiarise it. There is a clear difference between that. I did actually kind of make a video covering this a few couple of videos back, which I'll leave a link to. But you need to be original in your work, but you can't be original until you've kind of copied, if that makes sense. Think about children when they're being risen by their parents. Children copy their parents to learn how to be a person that's going to grow up into an adult. But children aren't exact copies and replicas of their parents because they have their own minds and own ways of, of doing things and own ways of thinking. And this is how it works in the art world as well. The only thing that can make an exact replica of anything is a photocopy and no hand can make the exact same thing every single time, which is why you need to copy people's work that inspires you in order to kind of gain that perspective and gain that experience. If you're trying too hard to be like someone else, you're not gonna be original anymore. Number seven is be kind, because what goes around comes around and word of mouth travels very fast. If you're someone that leaves insulting or rude comments towards some other artists, if that artist then grows to get kind of a big following, you're constantly gonna have a, like a stain on your name. There are people in the art community that um, have kind of been shunned because they've, you know, word of mouth has traveled that they're not overly a very nice person and you don't want this to happen to you. So always try to spread positivity instead of negativity. This works in reverse as well. If you're a nice artist and someone that you've spoken to in the past grows to be a bigger artist, they're gonna know you and they're gonna mention you to other people and it just, it helps to be kind. Number eight, do not wait until the moment is right. There is no right moment to start your art. Um, oh, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Um, they always say that on your deathbed, you regret the things you didn't do more than the things that you did. So don't look back one day and regret that you didn't start now when you could have done. So just start, even if you can't draw a stick man or you can, you can barely draw a wobbly circle, I don't care what your level is, just start, keep a sketchbook. If you keep a sketchbook, you can see your improvement and that really helps to build your confidence as well. Number nine, art is not easy. Even for the artists you admire the most, it seem to be just like 
ultra talented and incredible at what they do. Art is a process, it takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of sleepless nights and you know blood sweat and tears it, it does take that at times a lot of artists i know ask this question um how can i improve my art and really the answer is practice it's not like oh i'm gonna read this 500 page book on how to ride a bike and sit on a bike and magically know how to do it it doesn't work like that unfortunately you know it's it's practice 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 you can't give up if you give up then you're not going to get anywhere if it was easy, everybody would do it. And number 10 is you will always be learning something new. Um, me, I've been doing art for about seven years now and digital art was always my forte. I was always good at copying a reference, but when it comes to like original characters, I'd always admire like Siren on Instagram and Lowish. Amazing artists. I, I just love their work so much. It's incredible. I had no idea I could copy a reference, but I had no idea how to make original kind of characters and that's something that in the new year I started to work on and I've really definitely improved even in those you know short short months I'm learning every day I'm learning every single day and I'm always learning something new so remember that don't ever think that you've got to you've got to learn everything there is to learn about art right away it just it takes years and that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the video it was a bit long I apologize for that but hopefully it helped and if you do have any questions please do feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them as best as I can so thank you for watching take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video